guys, today is going to be a very, very exciting day. The next two days, actually. I can't wait. Guys, just look at this. Guys, the next couple days are going to be an adventure for sure. Always seeking out different uh, activities in the outdoors. And this one is going to be, I think, cream of the crop. I am over on the west coast of Newfoundland. Uh, based, going to be based on the Humber River. The world-renowned Humber River. Known for its incredible and outrageous salmon fishing. I'm going to meet up with Ashley Han today. I've met her a couple times before. She hosts the uh, the glamping tours or hot tent tours based right on the edge of the Umber River. And she also hosts a kayaking tour on that river as well. So I'm gonna do both this weekend and it's gonna be a great time. In fact, everything that you see in this video today, it's all off grid, away from all cell service, the whole works. What you see is going to amaze you. So stick around. Well, here we are, guys. We've finally arrived. We got our greeters here, Trixie and Bailey. Hi there. So here's the spot. They live off grid here, 100%. And everything is around here to keep them self sufficient. We're going to have a quick look around here now. So located right alongside of her off-grid cabin is the Humber River here. And this is spectacular any given day of the year. And right there are her tents. And we're gonna go down there in a minute. First of all, have a quick look at all these noisemakers here. So what we got here, Ashley, we got some chickens, roosters, ducks. Ducks. They're looking for their grub now, morning breakfast. Oh yeah, like I saw. And the goats haven't got it too rough either. They got their own spot here. This is where they sleep night time. Hello, Trixie. This is the Waddle on in. And it actually grows her own vegetables. She got some of it harvested now, right? You got to take some of your potatoes harvested, have you? A lot of it is harvested now. The cabbage is pretty raw. Well I got carrot flecked in the ground, a few onions, and some potatoes are still in the ground. And you got a new, new plot of land coming now, right? For more agriculture? I do, yep. I'm just up there a little farther. Three acres I got right now. Now, guys, as I had a bonus today, uh, when it goes on our kayak tour, which is coming up pretty shortly there, Ashley's going to take up the vegetables right from the garden, and she's going to make up a stew. I know that ain't going to be good now, La. Look at that, La. Isn't that something? I never grew a carrot that big in my life. It's part of that, La. Few spuds. Now, guys, just look at this. Oh, 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 oh. You're not luxurious, I know. Ain't that awesome. Now, guys, I'm not used to this. You've seen all my tents now, and the way I operate normally. This is unbelievable. Wow. Am I supposed to be here with my boots on? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah? Look at this, guys. Look, everything is here. And that cute little stove. Where'd that one come from? That's locally made, isn't it? Yep. It comes yeah. from Deer Lake. Wow. Sure. Well, guys, this is my home for the night now. Well, you're not going to be the treat, I know. <gasps> wicked, wicked, wicked. I can't wait to get into the coziness of this tonight. I could be here all winter, I don't know. <laughs> Everything is here. Look, all your 
pots and pans and glasses. A couple games there. Cleaning stuff, hand sanitizer. All you got to do is bring their, their grub and their water, is it? Their food and their water is all you need to bring. Yes, when you come, you don't, have to, you don't have to pack up and do all the camping stuff. You just come and enjoy it. And, of course, right next is a close-up view of the Humber River. The infamous Humber River. Now, a lot of you people have salmon fished on that river. Ashley fishes there all the time. I wish salmon season was open, actually. I'm going to come back and do that someday. And I tell you that uh, this is definitely world-renowned. And this morning looks absolutely spectacular. There's not a breath of wind. So word of once, we're going to go up that away in the kayaks. And I just can't wait. Boys, this is already unbelievable uh, to myself, who you know, grew up in this province. And uh, to you guys who want to come here, I'm going to tell you how to do that shortly. But now, we're going to get the kayaks ready and go on that kayak tour. Woohoo! Guys, here's the kayaks. And you do all the kayak tours, right, uh, Ashley? Yeah, I do. Tell me about your kayak tours. What's the most amount of people you can take or different packages? What do you offer? Uh, I do a one hour tour, which is a loop around the island. My most popular this year and last year has been the evening sunset tours. And I do a two hour tour and a boil up tour, which is the one we are going on today. And I can take up to uh, groups of 10 and uh, plus me with the guide. I can accommodate more if need be, but most of my groups I take, the biggest groups I take is groups of 10. We're going on the super extravagant one today. Ultimate package, is it? We are going on the boil up tour today. <laughs> <laughs> that's my anything, anything involving food, that's my favorite. Wicked! So, likewise, guys, when you come here, the kayaks and lots of life jackets here for safety. Everything you need, so you got it. I got that stove in there. <laughs> huh? so I got you always take that stove I fill up the boot that I'm in and I dip the water up and love it. Guys, this is a treat for me today because. Usually I'm the guide in the party, but today I can sit back and relax and Ashley is the guide and I'm just following. What a treat. Boys, look at that, look. The green colors in the water. Oh, man, oh man, this is absolutely serene is what it is. Not a draft of wind today either. Because this came around the point there, and Ashley says that's the Long Range Mountains. Is it up there, Ashley? Yeah. The Long Range Mountains, boy, oh boy. Oh, Gross Morn. And Gross Morn? Yeah. Yep. Western Brook. Western, Western Brook. Wow. Do you enjoy this, Ashley? Oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't tell. We just stopped there for a little break there in the river, guys, and uh, we're after going a couple of kilometers. It is so quiet. It's almost eerie quiet, isn't it? You find it? It's just extremely quiet. Like when you stop talking, you can hear nothing. That's but it's scary. almost almost like a loud nothing. It's so quiet. It's hard to believe when you're up in a place like this, look. Not a sound. You want to experience nature, then this is the kind of place you're gonna find it. No vehicles, no beeping, no power, no cell phones. My cell phone haven't rung once, yours? No, no, you ain't gonna get no service out here. <laughs> oh, perfect. Brand new beaver house, guys. Look, that is as active as can be. And they're making up their brose paw. That's what they'll feed on all winter. Now they'll bring that right out in the, right out in the river here. Busy as a beaver. Yes, yeah. guys landed for our shore lunch actually got her all set up there for for when you get here picnic tables nice little landing here you can see moose tracks there it was a moose here last few days for sure so you have to have a good many shore lunches here oh yes yep. yeah yeah one or two just a few <laughs> <laughs> well look at that look. she was just setting up and ashley looked over and with her keen eyes she's used to seeing it i don't know if you guys have seen it or not but there's a moose there 
Well, well, well. He just turned towards He just turned, yeah. He was walking this way and he turned this way, look. You can see Yeah. He turned side on again now, look. Unbelievable, boys. I mean, you know, just, I don't know how you can make that up. You can't make it up. Amazing. Stop there and uh, just like that and a moose. Now, guys, it's the first peak at the stool. Just look at it. And we're starting with it now. You want green every time? <laughs> oh, yeah, I get it. I started with it. The second table on the beach all in one right? Yeah. And Ashley, when she made the stew this morning, she also made some Towtons. That's a bit of a Newfoundland thing. Pretty much uh, dough and uh, fried up, right? Fried bread dough is all it is. Fried bread dough, yeah, but yeah, that's good too. And dip it in your stew. Oh, oh. Here we go, guys. She got her uh, got her meat up here. You boil up on the beach. Boil up on the beach. Didn't take her no time. You can tell she's the expert at it. She's done it forever. And it smells delicious, and I can only just imagine what it tastes like. That is fabulous. All fresh veggies. All fresh vegetables. Oh man, guys. That is as Newfoundland stew as you can have it. And that's new stew. New stew, is it? New stew. New stew at that. Wow, what a treat today. Now, usually with Toutons, dip it in your... you can dip it in your soup or you're not. So, I'm gonna have some dipped in my stew, and the other one I'm gonna have, uh, gonna have molasses on it. He knows what you're at, actually. I guarantee you that. Oh, guys, look. Traditional Newfoundland molasses. As traditional as you can get right there, la. Gooey, gooey molasses. Nope, just just me. Mm. I'm the only one that lives up here all year round. Mm. Well, guys, just got a cup of tea poured up there. Looking nice and red. And Ashley picked a zucchini. Was it your zucchini? Had you... Zucchini, yep. Green zucchini. And made zucchini bread. And made zucchini bread. That is unreal. I've never tasted zucchini bread in my life. So today is the you yeah, taste yours it's first. Really good. <laughs> she got me convinced to put a little bit of butter on it. Did you dip yours in your tea? No. Nope. Never yet. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's pretty fresh too, huh? Mm. Oh what a job, what a job, what a job. Dip next one in your tea. It's like a banana bread, only. It's like a banana bread, only better. There's a little different taste mm. to it. Well, I'm getting spoiled here today, guys. I can tell you that right now. We came out here a little <laughs> while ago. I haven't watched it yet. Hmm. <laughs> Guys, we just finished our lunch. Unbelievable lunch. Now we're gonna hit that river again. The sun's out. Everything is absolutely rosy. You just could not have picked a better time, date, and location. All right, so we're back on the river. How do we get back now? Same way, or is it a different route, or what? Well, we're gonna take a different route on the way back. We're gonna head what they call down the back run. Okay. And makes a loop right around the island. Look it. See some more stuff here, I guess now, eh? So we just came out on that side of the island. Now we're going to go back to the back run, you call it, was it? Back run. Right into the sun. The back run, right into the sun. Okay, I stopped it now. So when we came up this morning, we were paddling against the current that there was in the river. But uh, on the way back down, you're going with the current. So it's almost like a, a lazy river on the way down. <laughs> you don't even have to paddle, really. The current kind of takes you. Sit back and enjoy the view. So we're just drifting along there. So how long have you been living this type of lifestyle now, Ashley? Um, I've been over on the west coast now almost 
20 years. 20 years. Just the boat. Yeah. And, uh, been living up here full time for at least 10. And before that, it was probably like 95% of the time. So, it's been a long time. Yes, yeah, boy, it's amazing. Yeah, you don't fit the average mold, that's for sure. It's really refreshing to see. She lives off grid out here, and now she's been doing these tours for how long? About five years or so? Yep. Okay, five years. Well, I tell you, she got it perfected already. Guys, if you want to come out and experience some of this, you've got to look it up. Once in a lifetime, for sure. I've been in the woods my whole life, too, and I've done a lot of kayak, and I actually own five kayaks. But this today just tops the cake. It really is spectacular and different. Guys, we're coming down this little narrow neck here now and it's so still listen to this echo echo hello <laughs> you give it a try hello <laughs> nothing wrong with having fun on a kayak tour Back again, safe and sound. Beautiful, beautiful trip. Well, guys, that was absolutely awesome today. Uh, just a unique experience. And now we're back in the homestead. And I get to enjoy that tent now for the rest of the evening and for the night. Oh, that's going to be comfy too. Ah, I'm home. Oh boy, some time for a bit of supper. Starting to cool off a bit, which is wonderful. I light a bit of fire now tonight, just make her nice and cozy here, and nestle up that bed there. Oh boy, is a uh, is a fabulous uh, going on. This is guys, I'm telling you right now. Supper, I haven't decided yet. I'm not even hungry after that big feed bed today. What a wonderful feed we had. There's my kayak there. Might go with another flick in that one. See if you want to. She offers sunset tours too, guys. If anybody's looking for that sort of a kayaking experience. So when the sun sets, she'll take you out and you'll literally ride off into the sunset. Well, guys, I got three options for supper. I can cook right on that stove there. Each tent got its own barbecue. And a Coleman stove. And own fire pit. So lots of options for fire. Lots of options for cooking. Well, I decided to go for a little stroll, take in the old atmosphere around the tents, watch the sun as it kissed the land once again for the day. The orange skies came evident. And I even went up in the cabin, joined Ashley and her uncle as they played some music, sang some songs. Even Ashley's dog, Mika, chimed in with some <laughs> her own version of a song, and then back down to the tent to finish off the evening and cook some supper. Well, guys, it was a wonderful evening. Got entertained by Ashley and her uncle, Melvin. So I'm just popped back down now after dark. I'm gonna have a little bit of supper. I was so full today, I didn't have supper later, earlier on, so I had a great meal we had up and day in the woods. So now it's time to put the frying pan on as we warm this little spot. I'm expecting a nice cozy sleep here tonight. So we'll catch up with you guys in the morning when it's coffee time. Yummy.
Oh my gosh, what an amazing sleep I had last night. Like I was out cold. Um, I thought I'd be up before the before sunrise, and uh, that didn't happen. <laughs> I slept right through it, and uh, it's after seven before I even opened my eyes, and that doesn't happen very often. It was just so comfortable here, and I'm not used to this. It's just some, it's a real tent, comfortable feeling, but at the same time you got like a, a comfort of a queen size bed there with a wonderful mattress so it was just marvelous sleep last night it was nice and cool I'd say it went down to about six or seven degrees Celsius and that fresh cool air it would that would help you sleep anyway and it is October the 2nd uh, so it's just a beautiful time of the year no flies just the very best conditions to to sleep outside you know anyway I'm cooking up a bit of breakfast here now some pork strips and some toast and stuff good cup of coffee and if I was to film all day yesterday and today, I would never be able to show you all the neat things that come to this place. There's outdoor games, there's indoor games. You know, if you want Wi-Fi, you can have that too. Uh, you can just come in tent, or you can just come in kayak, or you can do a combination of both. There's a number of different kayak tours you can do. And it's the prices are so reasonably priced. So you guys need to check out Umber River Off-Grid Tours. And... Ashley will be your host her uncle Melvin is here as well and they will give you the most incredible experience yesterday was something else it really was something else and I feel like I'm spoiled to be in this place here now it's nice and cozy I got the stove going again and check them out on Facebook and any other way that I can possibly hook you guys up with with uh, with Ashley then I will do it so once I finish my breakfast, I'm on to the next adventure. I'm heading across the island, and I got an exciting week coming up this week, and I won't tell you guys all about that yet. You'll tune in and see. But right now, I'm just going to sit back with this coffee and just just soak it up. I kayak the Mighty Humber. Oh, awesome. Which we done yesterday in fine style, I might add. We did? Oh, wow. Thank you very so, much. So, friend of mine in Deer Lake Dozum from Scrap Studios. She does an awesome job. It is awesome. Look at that, guys. Look. Yeah, that's proof right there. Look. I kayak the Mighty Humber River. Okay, and I got a nice little emblem on the back of the collar there, too. Well, that's crazy. So, you're going to have those for sale, like in your place here from people actually do the river yep and i got them from youth right on up to adults okay that's great and all different colors do you have one up there that says i kayak the muddy humber river for the second time when I, come back? <laughs> I might have to get one made <laughs> there you go. well guys i'd like to thank ashley from humber river off-grid tours for hosting me this weekend i had the most amazing time with the, with the tents here the glamping the river tour that we did yesterday well, you've seen it for yourself. It is spectacular. The grub, everything about it here, the whole atmosphere is number one first rate experience. So guys, I'll make sure you hook up with Ashley. You need to talk to her and you need to get out here. Either way, I'll be back here guaranteed. All right, guys, until next time, take care of each other, get outside and enjoy everything outdoors. And we'll see you next time, guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs>